Well, I guess my story is um, prayer warriors and um, seeds planted a long time ago that took a long time to take hold. I was pretty much raised in First Baptist Church with my mother taking me. I think I was six when we started going and kind of grew up under Preacher Brown there. My mother eventually became Sunday School Superintendent. Then when I got into high school, I decided I don't, I got too many other things to do on Sunday. I don't need to go to church anymore and join the Marine Corps. While I was doing that, I learned to drink beer really well and got to be, eventually ended up being a functioning alcoholic. I was into, you know, you have the things you think and say and do are just, um, on the dark side, and, uh, just completely 180 degrees wrong, and got into pornography, and and just um, it was it was bad. But I was I couldn't live without my beer and cigarettes, and it was in 1982. A cousin of mine who was six years younger showed up uh, out at the ranch one day and I was out cutting wood by myself. So he, he brought a six pack of beer and we sat and made small talk for a while and then finally he says, hey, he says, uh, I'm going up to Mount Hermon to this men's retreat thing with my brother, which was my age, his brother. And uh, he invited me to go and of course I said, no, nah, I don't want no part of that. And he finally left. and. Uh, then a couple of weeks later, he'd been talking to my wife, and I didn't know this, and um, he showed up again and uh, said, hey, you got to go. I, I paid for the tickets, and it was expensive, and, you know, <laughs> you got to go. And my wife, him and my wife ganged up on me, and uh, I ended up going with him. There was five other guys, I think, in the van, and, and uh, I was... I did not want to go. I was kind of in a panic, three days without beer, you know. And so we got up there, and the, the first night, I don't remember a lot about what the speaker said. And the second night, Saturday night, there was a young preacher there named Ginger Kelly, and he just um, basically presented the gospel that I'd heard a thousand times before. But this time, God got a hold of my heart, and uh, it was, uh, it's hard to explain. I, they had an altar call at the end, and I'm sitting there with my, old, my cousin next to me, and, and head down, and we're kind of toward the front, and uh, he whispers to me, said, you want to go forward? And I shook my head, yes. I was just shaking, just my whole body was shaking. And uh, he said, I'll go with you. So we went up and it was like the weight of the world was off my shoulders. I mean, really, that sounds corny, but it was, and it was just, uh, it was God's timing just to take all this garbage off of me and, uh, I think back that my my wife and my mother have been praying for me all these years, and they didn't give up. And I'm sure there was other folks too. The power of prayer, uh, uh, God's timing, seeds planted years ago when I was a kid, it all came together on uh, March 12, 1982.